Ernesto who's also the three-time world Muay Thai champion Kieran double K Kettle Kieran this card this show stacked with some absolute amazing talent isn't it yeah I mean it's the best middleweight tournament in the world bar none the K1 max everybody every fighter at 70 kilos around the world wants to compete on it I mean and we also delighted to have some heavyweights as well world-class heavyweights Ernesto no doubt you'll be uh, interested to see them well, I mean, I'm always interested in, in seeing uh, some good fights, but of course, Dutch. I like to see the, the, the heavyweights. Dutch. Well, in the black shorts, Andy the Machine, Risty, representing Suriname, oh. trains with the legend Lucy Carbine, and in the red shorts, representing Armenia, Gargo Drago. Yeah, I mean, uh, Andy starting uh, off right away, I would have expected that already, because that's how he, how he fights. Piercing left knee, Kieran, right to, right to the middle of Gargo Drago. He's wasting no time at all, isn't he? He's gone straight at it. I mean, left knee after left knee, heavy hands. We've seen this before, Vinny. He's so fast off the mark. He's really going for them body shots, Ernesto, isn't he, at this, this particular moment? He's doing that, and uh, I'm a little bit surprised that Drago is going uh, in the defense right away. He doesn't counter. And that, that, is, that is one thing I always see with a Drago. Drago's an amazing attacker, but... In the defense, he's, he's, yeah, he lacks a little bit. So there you go, then, is the secret to beating Gargo Drago to push him back. They said they're going to work on the left up. They said Risty lifts his chin up when he throws the left up, but Gargo's not thrown anything yet, Kieran. No, he hasn't. He's just sort of literally shelled up. He took some shots, but he has showed tremendous condition because he took some heavy, heavy body shots, and, you know, he's still here. He's taking a bit of shellacking, is in the first minute of the first round. Yeah, I expect Drago now to sort of open up a little bit, but Risty's, you know, he's not letting him go, is he? No, no until now, not, not but uh, uh, Drago is also only getting backwards, backwards. And, yeah, we're not used to, to see him like that. I mean, this is the big stage, after all. I mean, Risty's come out very, very strong. If it goes into later rounds, he could tire, because he yeah, has come out so far. That's yeah, very true. That's very true. We also, also understand it's Risty hasn't really fought on a show of this magnitude, and he's doing oh. great already. That is true, but if you see, he just he's trying to pick his shots, and, and with a guy like Drago, that can be dangerous. Because you never know with Drago, he's so explosive. He's very clever. Over, over well, literally, his 101st fight tonight as well, just shows he's done his experience. There's no sharpness coming from Drago, let's be honest, though, at the minute. He threw a half-hearted left leg kick, he's not throwing much back, a right hand misses across the head of Risty. But Risty's on fire at the minute, isn't he? He is on fire and he's, uh, he's working very hard. Up till now, the first round is definitely for him. Those and left knees are, from the, are just tremendous, aren't they? Just leaping through. Yes, up, up till now, he's just missing them. But uh, when he really connects, then I think Drago has a problem. Well, the world sat in anticipation and in patience, waiting for this great show to come back and its return. And this is an absolute stuck car. Don't go away. But it's a really one-sided... Pot shot, isn't it really, by Risty? It is, yes. It's, it's all Risty this round, you know, two and a half minutes in, and it's left knee and switching southpaw to orthodox, lovely body kicks. Yeah, exactly, and uh, the only thing is what, you, what you're going to think now is that, can he do this for three rounds? Well, he's young enough, isn't he? And That's also, very true. And also with Risty, his last seven fights, he's won six by knockout and one on points. And on Drago, the last seven fights, he has lost him. So could this be a change in the garden, Esto? This might, this might be a change. And uh, we have to see what Drago's doing now in the second round because he will know that he's behind on points. And yeah, if you do only three rounds fights, and you lose, if you lose the first round, then you have to work hard to win the fight. Yeah, I mean, you can see the replay there, just the amount of pressure that Risty puts in. Two double uppercuts there, straight into that knee we talked about earlier. That was lovely to the body there. That knee is very, very oh. dangerous, isn't it? Piercing the solar plex of Drago many, many times. You've got to give it the Armenian, though. He is tough. Oh, he's still fit. I mean, it's the first round. Uh, after the second round, I think you can, you can say more about how he's conditionally and everything. There's a distinct reddening on the face of Gargo oh, Drago. The desperate cries of... Peter Van Os there in the wise eyes and the wise words of Lucien Carby. Oh. Round two of this three, three wow. minute round contest. And it's been risky, easy first round, Kieran. It has, yeah. It was all risky first round. Drago is really covered tight, isn't he? He's, he's very wary of the, the knee through the middle. And obviously, the switching from Southport to Orthodox. Very impressive, risky though. Yeah, up till now, very, very uh, impressive. 
doing good. And uh, he looks his heart and he looks his heart and Drago yeah. already, doesn't he? It look, yeah. And this is this is a look you don't see so much in Drago's eyes. So a little bit uh, worried about it. Still coming forward though now. Big just think, left hook yeah. misses. At, Andy Rist is, he steps out of the way, he stayed southpaw, it's worked for him well. It has, yeah. He's looking for the big shots, Drago. It's not going to work against Risty, you know. Basically, Andy's doing the same. He's also picking the shots. He's not combin he's not, he doesn't make combinations. And I know he can make the combinations. Um, he just but Drago's still waiting. He just completely took the rhythm off Drago, hasn't he? Absolutely. Exactly. And the crowd in anticipation here, it's coming up some absolute amazing names. But Andy Risti has been tipped by Masato to win this tournament, Kieran. Well, you know, <laughs> like I said, his last seven fights, six by knockout. Extremely good in both orthodox and southpaw stance. He's, he's thrown some good yeah. shots. He's looking for it a bit too much, though. Instead of sort of throwing the combinations like you said earlier, Mr. Oh, he's, yeah, exactly. he's keeping him so under control, though, Risti, isn't it? He's completely dominating this. This is one of the... It's one of the most dominating performances seen against Drago, except for Koshenko in the Fast and Furious. Yeah, and he's, he's still hey. keeping the pressure. He's still keeping the pressure, and, and, and Drago cannot make pressure anymore. It's to see him sort of blowing hard there, he's feeling the pressure from the man and from Suriname. It looks like he can he can keep the... And a left hook there, wobbles the legs of Risti briefly. Drago still in this, still tough. Yeah, Derek is always dangerous, always explosive. You said earlier, Ernesto, you know, the counter shots from Drago could be a, a telling fact. And I don't but think it was a clean shot, but it was enough. Exactly, but it looks like he, he, he's still waiting for the, for the next shot, the next good shot, and it, it's not working. He's, he's just looking for a knockout. He's walking wild into high kick misses. The balance of Drago goes. He's seen better days, hasn't he? Yeah. He really has. Yeah. But as I say, uh, you you never know it with Drago. He will he will remain dangerous the yeah. whole fight. He seems to lack that sort of explosiveness that he had yeah. a couple of years ago. You know. He didn't he didn't work on that left uppercut going right through the middle. He didn't make Nick, Risty pay. He catches him on the side of the chin again, but Risty defended himself well. He does tend to drop his hands, though, Risty, doesn't he? He does, yeah. I think yeah. He, he seems very comfortable there throwing shots, but when you're comfortable, sometimes your hands drop and you can get caught. Well, the fact that he's working so much doesn't really give Drago the, the, the chance to, to counter because he tries, but he doesn't have that much opportunities. Well, another big round for Andy Risti. Drago on the receiving end of some really, I wouldn't say, heavy knockout shots, but he's been scoring. He's very, very hurtful anyway. Yeah, you can just see there in the replay, just the amount of pressure that Risti puts in body to head, all left hand, all left side, left leg and left knee, left body shot, left uppercut. There was that hook. There's some left hook, more of an off balance, wasn't it? He's got him on the side of the ear. But Drago's got it all to do, hasn't he? He's absolutely lost three rounds, and there's a USC star, Rampage Jackson. Nice to see him. Yeah, very nice, very nice guy. I heard there are rumours that he's going to fight for K1. I uh, don't know if that's true, but... Uh, but you heard it here first, if that's the case. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> well, round three of this three-minute round. Fight! Andy Risti really a dominating performance, isn't it, Kieran? It is, yeah. I mean, Drago really has to pull out the bag and go for the knockout because he's two rounds really, really behind. A right hand in desperation by Drago tries again and a body kick. It's a little too late, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah, yes. you would you would expect that uh, that Drago would come now. He you knows he's behind on points. He you know he's, the only chance he has now is knockout. Risty Just, giving him angles as it. well. Pivot, oh. Pivoted off really, really well. Drago comes back with a big shot of his own. But like normally, Drago would keep on putting the pressure, and now he doesn't. He hasn't seemed to got the engine anymore, has he? It looks like. Stop. No, he's had but so many hard fights. As I say, fights. you never know with, with Drago. You certainly don't. There's so many hard fights, Vinny, that we've commentated on. You know, yeah. every every fight seems to be all out, and uh, maybe it has took its toll. That's true. That's very true. Like I said, Kieran, new names, new talent, new stars, same old action. K1 rises, and this is the first fight, and it's been a dominating performance so far by the young man from Suriname, Andy Risti. And yeah, the stupid thing is that you still wait for, for Drago when he's throwing the big shot, something like that is, is something is saying 
me that the, that this that shot will still come, but he doesn't, doesn't have that much time anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One minute, thirty seconds to go, and he takes some big shots yeah, now. The left uppercut's worked so well for Risty, hasn't it? And that left knee, the southpaw stance. Yeah, I think they've been working a hell of a lot that in the yeah. gym. Just all that left hand oh. from the body to the head. He does leave his hands a bit too low, though, doesn't he, Risty? That is dangerous. That's true. A bit risky for Risty. Okay. But it looked like a down to me. Draco looks as if he's on wobbly legs. Yeah, oh, it looks like he, it, it took him much time to, 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 to get up. He's taking a lot of shots again. He's taking some huge shots now, and he's going for the finish, Risty. It's a sad, sad affair, isn't it, to see Drago and such a one-sided beating by Risty. A great right uppercut goes down the middle. A good low kick again from Risty. He really has done a number on Drago tonight, hasn't he? He has. He has. He, it looks a bit slow, doesn't he, Drago, tonight? And the, the thing is, as, like a, as a fighter, being being uh, beating up like this, you know, it it's very difficult to come back from this in the fight. Yeah. So he has like, to show it now. Yeah. It, to be fair, I mean, he's taking just he just can't seem to do anything, doesn't he? He looks he looks kind of lost in there. You never see Drago miss like that. No. It's, Getting up, laboured. But and he's getting getting tired, so there is still a, still a, a, a slight chance for Drago. He's only got 15 seconds to do it, and he's walking, and he's just getting caught as he walks in. Every single shot, wrist he throws, he's landing it. It's too complicated for him, too clever, too young, too fast. Yes, yeah, so we talked about you know K1 rising, bringing new styles. I mean, looks like we're going to have a new new star in Risty here because he's showed a tremendous yeah. tremendous yeah. performance. Well, you got to give credit. To Andy Risty and his team, Lucy and Carby, the legend. And a sad, sad performance, really, by Gargo Drago. You've got to give him credit. Very, very tough, but let's be honest, his best days are behind him. Yeah, that's very true. If you look here, he still he still hits. And since... since uh, well, they were these best two shots, weren't they? I think in so. In the whole round, let's be honest. I think so. But Andy was also a little bit tired, so there were some chances for, for Drago, but he came back, yep. Andy came back so strong. Well, you've got to give credit to Andy Risty, yep. representing Suriname, the machine carries on going forward. And let me tell you, he is a threat, isn't he, to some of these big names, isn't you? He is, I mean... New kid on the block, he's a big star. Yeah. Look, you know, he's got great left hand, great athleticism. You know, he wants it and he's very, very hungry. Happy very smiling true. face of Lucy and Carly. I, tra I trained with him in Suriname before. And then he gave me a very hard time, so Ladies and gentlemen, I can understand that he's here, here now. This contest. <laughs> and the winner by unanimous decision from the blue corner. Well, there you the go. Machine, he's not surprised, ladies and gentlemen, if you watch it here.